this is supposed to be released October 23rd, 2019, 18. Mm, we're not that far in advance yet. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my most anticipated reads for October 2018. I have a total of five. Tried to pick the not so popular ones since. Nobody wants to hear the same five books over and over again, so without further ado, let us get started. The first one, I will say, is one of the popular books because I've been hearing about it on Twitter repeatedly and it just sounds really cool, is Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand, and this is supposed to be released October 2nd, 2018. The book follows three girls, Marion, Val, and Zoe, and they travel to Saw Kill Island, which is an island where girls have been disappearing from for many years and their bodies have never been found. They quickly realize that if they work together, they could actually save the island from this apparent monster who lives there. I've just been hearing like a lot about it on Twitter, like I said, and also I just like dig this cover so much. It looks so creepy and I just think it would be like the perfect Halloween-ish read, so I really want to get to it. The next book I have is called The Lies Be Told by Camilla Way and this is supposed to be released on October 9th, 2018 and I just really like how purple the cover is to be honest, but the synopsis also sounds pretty cool. So Clara's boyfriend Luke disappears one night and everybody believes that he just up and left. Clara believes that he actually has a stalker and that he was kidnapped. Then one night Luke's older sister Emma, who disappeared over 20 years ago, returns. Emma agrees to help Clara find Luke, but her only speculation is that she will not talk about what happened to her 20 years prior. And that's when things come to light and Clara realizes that these two events may be somehow connected. I just want to know what the heck happened to Emma and how that relates to Luke because I mean like maybe it was the same person who kidnapped her or kidnapped him or like maybe she's like helping the kidnapper in some way. I don't know. I'm just very intrigued so I want to get to this one as well. The next book I have is called Under My Skin and this is by Lisa Unger and it's supposed to be released on October 2nd, 2018 as well. One year ago, Poppy's husband Jack was brutally murdered on his run through the neighborhood. Poppy is overcome by grief and she ends up disappearing for a couple of days and reawakening with no memories whatsoever what happened but she's in this red dress that she doesn't recognize. The case never gets solved and Poppy is finally trying to move on but that's when she starts getting these nightmares which she thinks may be memories about what happened to Jack and her on the nights that she doesn't remember and it's kind of her trying to figure that whole thing out. I'm honestly kind of confused because like I'm thinking maybe she was somehow involved in her husband's murder but then I'm thinking like why would she be so grief stricken if that was the case and I just want to know what happened to her when she disappeared and like what is this red dress thing like how is that significant in any way so I'm very intrigued but very confused at the same time. Next book I have is That Night by Amy Gills. This is supposed to be released on October 23rd 2018. After a mass shooting in their neighborhood Jess and Lucas are both trying to move on from this tragic event. Jess is trying to take care of her depressed mother while Luke ends up joining a boxing ring because he wants to get away from his overprotective parents. Then one day they meet and they become friends and possibly a little bit more and it's basically the story of them trying to get over this tragic event. I personally just think that this could be a really good book. I think that it could be very helpful for some people, especially like with all the things that are going on in the states right now, which like Canada doesn't really have that, thank god, but I don't know. I just think that it could be a pretty good story, so I'm interested. And then the final book that I'm anticipating is called The Spike Game. This is by Anna Snokstra, and this is supposed to be released on October 30th, 2018. The book follows Ava, who after years of being bullied in high school has decided that she is going to get her revenge, and so she starts watching three of her classmates. Two of them are very easy to take down, but the final one, Mel, quickly realizes that she is being watched and decides that she is going to take action into her own hands. I'm intrigued because it said that they play like a game together so I'm guessing like it's kind of gonna be like Saw but like with less gore you know what I mean like how he's all like I want to play a game like maybe it's like that and I'm very interested because YA version of Saw without gore sounds like it could be 
pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> Alright guys, so those are the five books that I am interested in. Hopefully you guys found one that sounds a little bit interesting to you. Let me know down below if you plan on reading any of these or if you have read them already because it's like halfway through October when I'm going to be uploading this. So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>